on the left side you have all the options the first one is videos and any video that you add to hard disk is going to be displayed over here you will see a small thumbnail the video title the date where it was added and some options let's add another one click on add video then click on the video you want to add let's add this one and then you will see a little preview of the video you can cycle through the some thumbnails if you want to change the thumbnail you can do so and then you also need to add a little title so maybe we can add a little title technique force admin demo whatever you want to call it whatever the video is about add that and as you can see it's added and it's now available inside the video section in scheduled you get all the videos that you are going live with or that you have scheduled to go live and as you notice you can see the number of videos that are added to each section so in videos we've got three videos I'm gonna come back to schedule videos soon and show you more about it then in finished you will see all the videos that are listed will be the videos that have finished the live cast and now they're ended and you can recycle them again if you want from the finished section then we've got social accounts and this is where you add all your Facebook accounts so come to this section and then click on add to add a social account let's do that right now to add an account click on the add button right over here and you will be taken to the add accounts dialog you will see an option to add your Facebook profile a Facebook group or your Facebook page you can add any one you want but you will need to first put in your application ID and application secret ID and for this you need to go to Facebook and create a Facebook application I'm going to have a separate tutorial which shows you exactly how you do it it's a two minute job and that's gonna get you your application ID and application secret which you need to put in in this box so I have put in my Facebook ID and my Facebook application secret ID and then I just want to click on add and now Facebook is going to ask me to log in that's another two minute job just put in your email and your password and click on login after the login your IDs will be available to you for example I wanted to add a Facebook profile and I, I have only one profile connected to each account so that was automatically added but if you want to add a Facebook page or a Facebook group you will be given options to select the Facebook page or the group so once your account is added you can see the name right over here you can see the date it was added on and you can also go and see the account itself if you click on the show paid channel button right over here so after you've added your social accounts go back to videos and now let's go live right now it has a button which says go live and you can go live with any video at any point of time instantly just click on go live button so let's click on that and let's see what happens click on go live click on what kind of account you want to go live in select that account click on go live that's it your live video is going to run and it's already scheduled so if you go into schedule you can see right now that it's running and this little animation the broadcasting animation shows you that your video is live right now here I am back in my Facebook profile and I can see that my video is live right here I can click on the play button and the video will play back click on settings and you can actually decide what frame rate you want to play back at and you can also select the bitrate so if you've got a high bandwidth connection you can go and play back at a higher bitrate and if you've got a low bandwidth connection you can go and play back at a lower bitrate then you can also select the time zone we've got all the time zones here and you can select to go live at any time zone you want finally in log report you will see the result of the playback so if your playback was successful you can see what you know that it successfully concluded and if there was an error you will see the error and you will know exactly why the playback was interrupted simple to use isn't it that's all you need to know to go live on your Facebook profiles your Facebook pages your Facebook groups and 
also on YouTube. It's got the same interface. Not only that, you can play back videos simultaneously on your Facebook profile, also on your Facebook group, and you can even play back multiple videos at the same time at the time zone of your choice. So you can do everything very transparently and very easily. As you can see, it's designed to do one thing and it does and it does that one thing very very well so if you are an internet marketer it's going to make life very simple for you and you'll be able to go live anytime you want without the hassle of setting up multiple things without the hassle of lot of configuration and with a lot of reliability why because it runs right on your desktop computer which means it protects you from server related ip issues it protects you from all the other people who are using the software because you're putting in your own app id and app secret and you're able to go live and use this in a very secure manner